Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import a MIDI file, a .mid or .midi file, and see the different tracks and different notations. We can change those notes around. We can change the way the instrument sounds. So pretty cool stuff. I've downloaded a few from the classic NES game Contra. So it sounds sort of like this, or like the Game Over screen. Yeah, really cool music. So we can actually bring these in. If you're not familiar with MIDI files, uh, what they, what it, it's not like an audio file. And a lot of times you, you might have, oops, not export, file, import. And we find the MIDI file. Uh, a MIDI file is just like a bunch of different tracks and notes. So if we double click on this, it shows the different notes for this. It's just instructions for the computer to play. So they're very, very small in size because it's not an actual recording of an audio wave. They're not recorded with a microphone. They're either typed in by hand or clicked in just like the way we do it on the piano roll, or they're played in using a keyboard. Um, oh, and I skipped over that. When I went to import it, it gave me this error message. And it said, if we go to desktop, what it said was, uh, you do not have the default sound font. So it's not gonna be able to play back. Um, it doesn't know what instrument to play it in, basically. LMMS doesn't. So it still imports the track, but it doesn't give us the right sound. It doesn't give us any sound, actually. So if we go to play it right now, it'll just play silence. We see there's activity, but it doesn't know what instrument this is, this sound font. It just doesn't know what it is. So we can replace this. Uh, we, can, we can fix the sound font issue. I'll show you how to do that in a future video. But we can actually just replace it with an instrument like this Bit Invader, then hit play. So that's playing just that track there. We can go find some better presets. If we go down here to like uh, my presets under this Zen, Abs Zen Add Sub Effects, there should be some good ones. We can actually just grab a couple random ones and see if we can make something sound good. Let me put that one down here too. All right, so that brings up that brings up all the different instrument. We don't want to make any changes to the sound necessarily, but we can just close out of these and then we can play. Well, one of those is getting us too crazy. That one's good. This resonance pad's too crazy for us. Let's use a soft pad instead. Okay, cool. So we've created a very soft sounding version of this. Let's get a little bit more aggressive with it. Uh, Anyway, you get the idea, right? So we have these three different tracks. We can get in and edit the notes of them if we want to. And we can change, you know, all kinds of stuff about it. We could transpose the whole thing. We could like select it and like move it to a different key if we wanted to. So yeah, really cool stuff we can do with this. And then we can add in, you know, our own different drum beat to it. Or sometimes there'll be a kind of a, it's all just a note track. You'll have to redo the, the drums possibly if you want to have it in the beat and bass line editor, but it shouldn't be too hard. Mm, yeah, there's also an option for exporting MIDI. I haven't played with it a whole lot, so maybe play with that if you wanted to make changes and then keep it a MIDI and then re-export it. Uh, just know that that is an option. And then also when we import, like I did that second time, if we were to import a different song right now, like this uh, bass MIDI, it'll actually bring in those tracks in addition to these ones. So now we have both songs playing at once, which isn't ideal. It changed our timing to now it's the new timing, the new tempo of the one we imported, but we still have the old tracks. So just be aware that when you import, it doesn't just load a song. It just imports every track of that MIDI and keeps them in your project. Hopefully that makes sense. Go ahead and play with importing MIDI. It can be really cool. You can find like a MIDI file for just about any song out there, your favorite songs. So if you want to import a song and change the notes of it, that's a good way to do it. Just go to your, go, just go to some different websites and search you know, like um, uh, Star Wars ending credits MIDI, and you'll find a, MIDI, a ton of different MIDI file arrangements for that, uh, the ending credits of Star Wars or whatever you want to find, you know. Hope you found this video informative. Go ahead and like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you on the next one.